Peace, what's up everybody? It's June here at Get Into It TV back with another video. Um, I've been slacking my fault, everybody. I'm really trying to pop this off. But I just want to talk about a few little things today. One is the realness with these sneakers, authenticity. There's been so many videos going around with people selling fakes, buying fakes, um, reviewing fakes, all this stuff. For me personally, this is how I roll, man. Most of my sneakers I buy, they from Foot Locker. You know what I mean? Champs, wherever I can get them from. Most of the time I get them from Foot Locker or um, Jimmy Jazz, places like that, you know them all. I bought a few sneakers off of Flight Club. I bought a few off of Stock X. Now, I was watching a um, Complex video on YouTube the other day and they had, I forgot the guy's name, I gotta put it up. I'ma put it up on the side for y'all. But he was the CEO of StockX and he was talking about how they authenticate their sneakers and all that. Basically, he was saying like he got people authenticating these sneakers a lot, an hour. And he was saying basically they're not perfect, they're not machines. You know what I'm saying? Like basically they're gonna fuck up. So my thing is buying from these places and also not even that the workers who authenticated them is gonna mess up, but also you gotta worry about the third party they getting a the sneaker from first. First of all, you don't know, all right, the sneakers look good, they dead stock, whatever. You don't know what them people did to the sneakers. They could be having anthrax in there, anything. And you don't know what type of person you're getting a sneaker from. They could have robbed somebody and they came up and selling the stock X. If that's on you, that's a personal thing for you if you want to cop them or not. But for me, it's just seeming real weird with these sneakers, how they just came out. Stock X just came out, takes over, putting all these low prices, and they telling you basically you're gonna might you're gonna get a fake here and there in there sometime. To me, that's just crazy. And also, for me personally, I just think Flight Club is better. Everybody's like, oh, Flight Club, oh, hey, the most expensive. This and that. But I'd rather pay to know that my joints is official. I never had a problem with them. I got a few joints from them. I need to bring them out. The next video, I'm going to start showing my sneakers and shit. But They're especially if they come out with the chips. Yeah, the chips, the I chip, the chip. That, I think that would really be good, too. But like they said, they're doing a the fake stock X tickets. People could, um, resellers. That's why I don't fuck with resellers, either. Like, people just, random people off the internet or Instagram. I don't fuck with them. I don't fuck with them because they can do this fake stock X thing. They telling you the sneakers is dead stock. Meanwhile, they lying. They warm about 20 times. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know how to clean sneakers if you a sneakerhead. Like this shit is just bullshit. And it's overpriced. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they be overpricing you. All these pre-orders, they charge you $500 for the sneakers. Then I seen the sneakers come out, be 190. Then some of them, they go to the fucking outlet. Or yeah. you could get them off the of stock X for dirt cheap after. <coughs> it don't make sense. I think people really need to start like being careful on who you buy sneakers from. That's my main point of this video, everybody. If you want your shit and you really like just collecting on it, you know what I mean? I haven't sold no sneakers in my life to nobody. You know what I'm saying? I just got back on it a couple years ago. You know what I mean? Started working again. Because I got a family. I wasn't into it like that. Recently, the last few years, I've been into the sneaker collecting and getting my joints up. Like I said, I really love one, so I got mad pairs of ones. That's what I'm working on. But if you're buying sneakers, make sure you know who you buying them from. Don't be just think because everybody's fucking with this guy. Like, look, millions of people fuck with Stock X, and the guy went on Complex and told everybody how you're gonna get a fake here and there. Just don't fuck with people just because they popular and they popping for now. Because they could be selling you some fake shit, getting over on you. That's what business people do. They like to get money off of you. You know what I'm saying? Here you're um, doing a flip in the back. But I'd rather just tell, I, I'm just telling everybody, try to just keep it official. You know what I'm saying? Hit up them apps. Hit up them. I don't, my girl hit up this Nike sneakers app for me. I'm not a phone person like that or internet person too much. You know, I know how to use the internet and I can but I don't do it. My girl got some sneakers for me off the apps. I like to go to the store and cop. You know what I mean? I'm still on this shit. I'll go to the store before it opens. You know what I mean? I'm not camping out, but I'll go early morning to try to work something out. But yeah, that was the um, basic topic of the video today. I'm feeling good, getting ready to go to work. I had to do a quick video. I'm trying to um, make the video pop more for y'all. 
You know what I'm saying? And on another note, everybody just stay positive and keep doing what you gotta do, man. This is 2019. Stay positive. You know what I'm saying? On that note, I'm out of here. Give thanks for life. It's your boy Drew and getting to a TV. Peace.